works by a famous German artist who is known for her emotionally powerful artwork are in display here in Seoul. Our Im Yuni joins us with more about this very moving exhibition. Good afternoon, Yuni. Good afternoon, right? So, Ketze Kolwitz uh, is an artist who is known, for, like you said, for very powerful images. Uh, she really touched the lives of millions with her works. Uh, now, she has uh, shows various things such as people struggling and the devastation of war. And now there's a unique opportunity to see those original pieces here in Korea. Have a look. A mother, desperate to feed and fend for her children in a country ravaged by war. The image is one of over 50 original works by the 20th century German painter, printmaker and sculptor Kate Kolwitz that are being shown at the Seoul Museum of Art. But inside these charcoal sketches, inside the shadows, are hungry children, traumatized mothers, the victims of poverty in World War I, people that artist Kolwitz just couldn't ignore. After the war, the remaining families had a very hard time. There was no relief in sight, no counseling, and no one to defend them. This artist chose to bring attention to them. The exhibition is divided into two parts. One, dedicated to the squalid lives of members of the working class prior to 1914, while the latter part shows works that illustrate the living hell experienced by people in Germany in the aftermath of World War I. Kolwitz was a well-recognized and respected artist in the art community, but she went beyond an artist and contributed to humanity, bringing awareness to those left in the shadows of this world. And so the museum, does the museum explain how the war experience may have affected her artwork? Uh, they do a little bit of explaining, right? So Kolwitz was actually married to a doctor uh, who tended often to uh, people, the poor people. And so she said that really influenced her work. Uh, but also in terms of the war, she actually lost her youngest son to World War I. And, you know, of course, you can imagine that really influenced her. She went through depression, but art sort of became her outlet. So uh, she named a lot of works, things such as uh, The Sacrifice, The Widow, and The Grieving mm. Parent. So you can really see that in all of her, uh, her sketches. Mm -hmm. So what legacy does the artist uh, leave behind other than her artworks. Right, so she had a lot of influence even um, till now and so there are over 40 different schools uh, named after the artist in Germany uh, but also there are different books, movies, even modern dance pieces that take inspiration from the artist either having a character uh, inspired by her or characteristics of, the, of Kolwitz. Uh, but there's also statues, many statues that she created or statues that were created that were inspired by her works and a lot of these statues are housed all over Germany um, that commemorate the war and especially the victims which is what she really wanted to point out. Mm -hmm. I would have to say that she is not well known to, I guess, not too well known in Korea, in Korea yet. Right. So it might be a good opportunity to check out this, this exhibition. Is, right, an excellent opportunity. Okay, all right. Thank you very much, Uni, for coming in today and sharing your story with us. You're very welcome.